Hey there everyone, this is Mystic Fish and welcome to another episode of our Factorio series where we are building an expandable base, looking to expand our way up to a mega base. Last episode we did our designs for our smelting and how we're going to upgrade, including uh, this setup here with beacons and tier 3 modules and electric furnaces that, that fits in the footprint of the uh, prior uh, iterations. So uh, what we want to do today is a little bit of a variant to this where we want to adapt these for steel smelting. Now uh, one of the things to note is that uh, without productivity modules at play uh, one furnace can keep uh, making steel plates, can keep keep one furnace making steel uh, busy. Uh, and so we need them in a one-to-one -one ratio, which means that we can, uh, we can adapt this design here in such a way that uh, we build, or we make iron plates in the first half of the uh, smelting stack and then steel plates in the second half. And so uh, if we look at this, we've got 24 here. So halfway is there, uh, which means that let's take these out for a moment. Uh, I think we may end up changing where these land as well. So we'll just, we'll see about that. Okay, so 12. Right here. Okay, so uh, one of the ways that we can do this that fits in the same footprint is as follows. How do we want to do this? We want to do it this way. Uh, we need some more undergrounds. So I'll explain this in a little bit. Okay. What is this doing? Now, uh, up here, this is a basic uh, smelting array. We're going to be taking the iron ore and the coal in on this side, producing iron plates in the middle. For the second half, we're going to reverse it. So we're going to have coal and iron plates in the middle, and we'll put the steel on the outside. And so what is this deal doing here? So one of the interesting things about putting a, having a belt run into the side of an underground is that uh, it works as a little bit of a filter. So uh, what this will do, if you, if you look at it, there's, there's sort of, a, you can imagine this being like a little bunker type thing, or you can even, if we, if we look at it closely, we can see there are walls on the side of this tunnel entrance here. And, but there's a little bit where sort of the belt sticks out. So what happens here is that this will allow materials on the top side of the belt to actually get in and get onto this underground belt. But things on the bottom side of the belt will basically run into the wall and stop. And so uh, what this means is that we have coal on the top, iron ore on the bottom, and so what this will do is it will allow coal to get on this underground and come into the middle. Um, and then we're putting that on the top side of this belt. Down here, we have, uh, we have the iron plates coming in the middle and then they're gonna be put on the bottom of the belt here. Um, and so we end up with iron plates on the bottom and coal on the top. Now, uh, the, because we only have half of an iron plate making assembly, they only, this whole thing, if it was all making iron plates, would fill a yellow belt. But because we're only using half of them, they only fill half a yellow belt. So all of the plates can still get onto the bottom half here, and we can bring the coal across. And then all we have to do is reverse the direction of the inserters here. We do not need this guy. And uh, yeah, that's, I think that's it. So let's, um, let's see if I spin these. 
then I should be able to copy this and paste. Oh, come on. Fine. Uh, get rid of these. And get rid of these. And then paste. How many is this? Ten. One more. Twelve. Okay, and then we'll run these together like this. Okay, let us now see about where we can put these. Uh, will it work if we put these here? And then here. Uh, that seems to have worked. Okay, uh, let's just get a sure that powers everything and it does okay so that is going to be steel and the nice thing is that this fits in pretty much exactly the same footprint uh, as our smelting uh, our original yellow smelting column and so uh, so that means so let's see what is the question is what's the fastest way oh I do have construction bots okay so then, I think what I want to do is make a copy of this. Um, we need some more bot space. Um, do I have a bunch? I still have a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, so this is my upgrade thing. So I think this will let us upgrade this to be a red steel smelting column. So uh, we'll let things work on that. Okay. Um, and now what we need to do is we need to convert. We need to convert this one. And so here we have twenty. And so at this point is the point at which we mean we want to change it around. Now, fortunately, I think that just means that uh, we don't need the ore to go any further this direction and so I can get um, okay so the ore will stop here uh, we can still grab it in these um, this will be putting these steel plates on and then we'll get the steel plates off here and then these will this I guess it's a little cheaper to turn those like that these will be outputs um, take you off take you off will be outputs of steel we'll have to pick this up and rearrange it turn that around turn that around turn these and these so these will be outputs um, and that will be output um, we will not need this stuff here and instead we will uh, just have these out that way um, let's see now you're making steel that's good um, we need to turn these around we need to turn these around um, yeah I think that's it so let's uh, cut this and put it back um, and I do want to test this. Uh, I want to test various things here. Uh, we need a bunch of this stuff. Whoops. We're going to add a tier three module. I 
think these will not technically be to ratio because we got an extra layer of productivity in here. Um, but the main thing, I which I think is okay, the main thing I care about is that this can still produce three times the steel as the original yellow belt. Um, all right, so first I wanna test that this thing works. Let's get our infinity loader. And we're going to stick iron ore in here. And then we'll get the consumer here, reverse it. I guess in theory, this could actually be a belt. All right, and that does seem to be working. These are all making steel, so that is good stuff. Uh, let's come over here into our infinity chest. Let's put some uh, iron ore in here and some iron plates. Uh, let's get those into the inventory. So uh, let's put power on this. I just want to check rates of stuff. So um, for this to be steel or iron, then we need iron ore coming in here that will make them make iron plates and we want to do this so that the rate calculator knows what recipe uh, that we're using here because steel is five times as slow as uh, iron plates and so uh, we need some more of these Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, let's check the rate of this stuff. Okay, this is producing 90 steel plates per minute. So that is good. This is producing just over 270. So that is, that's okay. That's okay. Um, and uh, we can see that we are, in fact, um, if we look at our production stats, um, we are seeing above 270 in production. So uh, that is gonna that's gonna work just fine for us. Okay, so uh, we need to make corresponding blueprints here. Uh, we can get rid of this thing so it's not in the way of blueprint. Let's take a blueprint. Uh, this will be steel smelting yellow and what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll make it a steel and a yellow belt I guess sure create that put that there uh, this same upgrade planner will work so we'll keep that around uh, we need a blueprint for the red version so this will be steel smelting red, red belts. I'm sure it will be a little uh, more, uh, this will be red belts. I guess I should be clear what I'm talking about. Yellow belts. And then this is the steel smelting. I guess we get rid of these extra dudes now. Does that output go in the right place? I guess we actually want the output. Ooh, this is interesting. We actually want the output up here. Ooh, that's a good thing to note. We actually want it that way, uh, which, by the way, means that we need to fix the regular smelting um, so that the outputs align. Um, but now we can take this and we can call this steel smelting blue belts. So 
So that is going to be steel and blue belts. And that's it. That goes there. Um, let's get this guy. Um, so let's line this up. And so the output needs to be here, up one. Whoops, that is not actually... Oh, I guess we can do that like so. Uh, we can turn this. And then... Um, and that should hopefully line up. Yes. And this lines up with the output over here. Yes, okay, good, that's important. Then, uh, okay, so then we need this to be, we're gonna replace this one. So this is going to be, let's call this basic smelting blue belts. Uh, this will be an electric furnace, this will be a blue belt. That goes there. Uh, red smelting, let's call this, just for naming consistency, basic smelting, red belts, save, and this will be basic smelting, yellow belts, save. Okay, and then we can add those to our blueprint book. Uh, we did not actually get them all in here. Oh, that's because we deleted them. Right, that makes sense. Um, so, oh, they did upgrade. Okay, good. So then I want this one in there, and I want these in here. Okay, there we go. Uh, that is steel. That is steel smelting. So that's a quick one. Uh, it's just a tweak on the existing designs that we had. But uh, again, the nice thing is it fits in the same blueprint. It's still, I guess, uh, interface compatible with uh, the other things that we have, right? The output's coming in in the right place. Uh, or it would be if these were actually red belts or green, uh, blue belts. Uh, all right, I have to fix that one. I have to fix that one. Okay, so that was this one. Steel smelting blue belts. Okay, you're gonna do steel, you're gonna do blue belts. And we'll put you there. And then we have to add you back to the blueprint book. All right, so there we go, uh, quick episode going for steel smelting, but uh, that covers all of our smelting, and uh, we'll move on from here. So as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Until then, bye.